All right, so when it comes to layer masks, we can have uh, even more flexibility in the visual appearance of our images. All right, so over here in the layers panel, with that uh, cruise ship uh, levels adjustment layer, we have a layer mask. All right, by default, the adjustment layers will give you a layer mask, and white uh, reveals everything on the layer. And if I was to fill that with black, then it would hide that whole adjustment that we did on here. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this uh, mask with black just with a keyboard shortcut to show you that if I have a black layer mask, I hide everything. And if I have a white layer mask, I can reveal everything that's on there. So that being said, I could theoretically come over here and grab this guy here with that layer mask selected and I can actually just make uh, uh, let's make an, uh, a selection in here that big and, and if I wanted to fill that with uh, black as an example I can come over here and grab the paint bucket tool and just come in here and click and fill and I'm sure you can see down in the layers panel I have this little black rectangle and in here you can see that the image is much lighter I'm going to hide my things here you can see that the image is much lighter inside there as opposed to everything that's all around all right so what I'm going to do is undo that by stepping back in time got rid of that black thing there right there so now I like the black and I like the darkening that's going on all through there but I'm not a big fan of the darkening that's kind of happening down here so what I want to do is I want to have a little bit of black, a little bit of gray, and then the white. All right. So the white is going to reveal everything in the sky and the mountains and all that kind of stuff. And then the gray is going to be a transition. And then where the black is, it's not going to have the, this darkening effect. It's not going to have any visual effect on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the paint bucket tool and then grab the gradient tool inside the uh, options menu across the top where we have the choice of different things here. I'm going to choose this guy which is foreground to background. So now I'm going to drag from black to white. We know that black will hide and white will reveal. So if I start down here and drag in this fashion, I'm going to start dragging black to white. So now if I click hold and drag in this fashion like this, you can see how I lightened up a little bit and you can see down here I dragged on an angle. Well, that's not exactly what I was looking for, so I'm going to drag up this way to change it just a little bit. And now I'm liking that a little bit more. I've lightened up this area here a little bit, but I've maintained all of that uh, stuff that's down there. If I disable the layer mask by clicking on the shift key and then clicking on the mask icon itself, I can show you the before and the after, and I'm kind of happy with that the way it's working. All right, so I like that the way it is, and uh, I'm going to just move on from there. All right, so I think that's about all that I really wanted to talk about when it comes to working with layers and such, but uh, let's just see. Um, I just need to kind of uh, mentally talk out loud and see that we've gone through the stacking order of layers, we've gone through creating new layers, we've done our drag and drop with the balloons and the copy and paste with the balloons, we created layer groups with the balloons, uh, I've just dealt with the adjustment layers and clipping groups so we've kind of covered off that. I've got my layer masks here that we just talked about briefly. All right, there's a layer mask up here as well. And uh, I've, you know, I think I've talked about how I used that to hide that little line that was uh, brought in from the uh, cutout of the statue and all that kind of stuff. So I've covered off that. What I want to talk about in the next movie are the layer opacity and fill settings. All right? And uh, we'll do that in the next movie.